skin-to-skin contact, also known as kangaroo care, is a method of caring for newborns where the infant is held by their parent for as many hours as possible during the day. Kangaroo care started in the late 70s when Colombian mothers were encouraged to keep their premature, also known as preterm, newborns close to their bodies in order to regulate the baby's body temperature. Many other health benefits have resulted from this phenomenon as well, and it has spread across the globe. Since then, kangaroo care has shown to be beneficial to all newborns, not just premature babies. Even in hospitals, policies are implemented that require the mother to be holding the baby for extended periods after birth. There are numerous physiological and psychological benefits to both the baby and the parents. Sadly, preterm birth is the largest direct cause of infant mortality. The greatest risks for these deaths are infections and diseases that the baby acquires after birth, like lower respiratory tract diseases and severe pneumonia. Studies show that kangaroo care contributes to a reduction of infections and diseases in preterm babies. Researchers discovered that starting kangaroo care in the first week of life showed a significant reduction in neonatal mortality compared to routine incubator care. With these beneficial outcomes for preterm babies, the studies concluded that kangaroo care should start earlier since the majority of neonatal deaths occur in the first few days of life. It has been shown that skin-to-skin contact reduced grimacing and crying during blood collection from the heel by up to 82%. These results show that the comfort that an infant receives during hugging significantly increases pain tolerance level. Another study showed infants who were held for three hours right after birth by their mother were found to latch onto their mother's breast more often and with higher accuracy. Breastfed infants are less likely to acquire diseases like asthma, eczema, and allergies. Infants can also better regulate their average blood pressure and body temperature throughout their infanthood differently if they were swaddled by their mother at birth. A 2003 study found skin-to-skin contact after birth decreased the stress response of an infant in response to birth. This allowed the infants to regulate their body temperature not just following birth, but throughout their stay at the maternity ward. Preterm infants in neonatal intensive care are kept alone and exposed to stressful interventions every day. Their mothers describe the separation as a major stressor. Not only that, but the infants express a distress call that stops when they are returned to the mother. Animal studies have shown that rodent pups are much more sensitive to stress if they have been separated from their mothers. Many important factors are involved in promoting healthy growth and development of infants. But what about psychological development? Scientists have shown that a person's mental health can start to be shaped just moments after birth. It has been shown that skin-to-skin contact is critical to reduce stress and anxiety in the infant. Scientists have demonstrated that kangaroo care immediately after birth is critical in forming a healthy vagal tone which is a process referring to the activity of the rest and digest system in the body. This system is involved in relaxation and regulating our body's resting state. Children who are not exposed to -to skin-to-skin contact post-birth were described to have poor vagal tone corresponding with heightened levels of anxiety and stress. In a study analyzing the benefits of kangaroo care, the team found an improvement in mental processing and the organization of brain cell networks, which may positively influence learning and behavioral outcomes later in childhood. Infants who participated in kangaroo care showed an increase in the speed of messages sent along networks of brain cells, unlike infants who did not. There was an improvement in the communication between different brain regions. These results were obtained with a non-invasive procedure involving the use of magnetic fields to stimulate brain cells. Cool, right? So, what are the psychological benefits of kangaroo care to the mother? Mothers that practice kangaroo care reported feeling calmer, energetic, happy, and clear-headed. This is great because mothers can be at risk of postpartum depression, a form of maternal clinical depression following 10% of childbirth. In a 2008 study with 177 new mothers, kangaroo care began after premature babies were discharged from the hospital. Mothers were encouraged to maintain frequent skin-to-skin contact with their babies at minimum periods of 1-2 to two hours at a time. The incidence of postpartum depression dropped from 37% of all study mothers to 17%. In another study, it was found that mothers that sing during their kangaroo care sessions improved the mother's anxiety response. When the baby's ear rests directly on the mother's chest, sounds are passed through the tissue as well as through air. This is believed to resemble the auditory environment of the mother's womb, which is a sound all too familiar to the new bundle of joy. All in all, kangaroo care was found to have some major benefits to the newborn and to the new parents. Specifically, mothers in the kangaroo care group exhibited greater acceptance and stronger emotional closeness with their new child while still providing the temperature regulation function of an incubator. Multiple studies show the benefits of kangaroo care such as an increased pain tolerance, reduced stress and anxiety, and reduced mortality rates. This suggests that kangaroo care is an effective and safe alternative to conventional preterm baby care.